Today we're going to cover the procedure for doing a chest decompression using the Turkle safety fluid drainage system. Equipment that you'll need. Obviously the Turkle needle. If you want some sterile 4x4 gauze, the best thing you can do is go ahead and open it and use your trauma shears to make a cut. We're going to use this for securing after the procedure. You'll need some tape and then alcohol to clean the site. First thing we want to do is determine that we need to do a chest decompression. In this case, we're going to do it on the left side. We want to locate our landmark, which is between uh, the second and third rib and the second intercostal space. We want to clean the site thoroughly. We're going to let that dry. I'm going to take out our turbo needle what you'll see is made up for, of two parts. It's got the catheter and then the needle. You'll see a green indicator here, and the green indicator says that the uh, needle is blunt at this point, so it's got a safety cap on it. You'll see when we go to go into the skin, this will turn red, letting you know that the needle is exposed. And then when we reach the pleural space, it should turn green again, letting you know that you have contacted air. So again, locate our landmark. We're gonna go in at a 90 degree angle just over the third rib. You can see when I go to touch the skin that it turns that indicator red. We're going to go in, and again, we're going to get that rush escape of air. We're also going to see that the needle is, the indicator is green. Secure your catheter with your other hand and remove the needle. You'll hear a click, the ball will go down, that locks this. It also engages the safety on the needle. This can then go to the sharps container. At this point, you should see clinical signs that your patient's getting better. They should be breathing easier. Your pulse oximetry should start to come up. At this point, it's a matter of just securing it. Take your 4x4s four and use just the amount that you need. This. Take our strips of tape, make sure that we secure it, use your stethoscope, check your lung sounds, again they should be breathing easier, you should have clinical signs of improvement, the procedure is complete.